Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. I've got a deep question for you today. Where there's pain in life, where there's evil, where there's suffering in your life, do you tend to default and think God is judging me or Satan is attacking me? Which one do you tend to default to? And by the way, there is a third option. So God can judge. The story of Noah is a good example. God caused the flood. Uh, The book of Hebrews says that God, as a loving father, disciplines those he loves. So just like a good dad will sometimes discipline their child to get them in line, God can do that in the life of a believer. However, I would encourage you that most really good Christians I know, they tend to assume pain in their life is God judging them. They just tend to assume that. And what I've found as I've read through scripture is there are instances of that And um, you may know, uh, if it's judgment, you usually know, like, from the Holy Spirit, like, oh, I've been living in open, unrepentant sin for days, weeks, months, years, and now this is happening. Uh, But if you just, like, you messed up one time and then, you know, something happened, I I wouldn't interpret that typically as judgment. And part of the reason for that is the story of Job. If you read the story of Job in the Old Testament, all of the calamity that comes into Job's life is from Satan. Now, Satan has to ask God for permission to do these things to Job, but it's Satan who does all the difficulty. We found the same thing yesterday as we started digging into this passage in 2 Corinthians 12 about Paul the Apostle and his, quote, thorn in the flesh. And Paul says that his thorn in the flesh is, quote, a messenger from Satan sent to torment me. So Paul's suffering was not coming from God. It was coming from Satan. Uh, Satan could see in the spiritual realm all the good that was coming from Paul's ministry. And um, Satan has to get permission to harm God's people. God said, you can harm Paul this much, but no more. So the harm is from Satan, not from God. But God allowed it knowing, as Paul says, it would keep Paul from the sin of spiritual pride. Um, I've had some physical issues in my life that I interpret this same way as thorns in the flesh from Satan to slow me down. But if God allows it, he'll use it to keep me humble. And if God allows anything in our life, he'll bring good from it. You can trust him. Now, at the beginning, I mentioned Uh, When you go through difficulty, is it from God or is it from Satan? I mentioned that there's a third option. What's the third option? The third option is it is one of the consequences of life in a fallen world. So every one of us, our bodies will wear out and die. That will not be God's judgment, nor will it be Satan allowing to kill you. It will most likely be that ever since Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, every human dies. Uh, The same is true with cancer. Uh, Cancer is a genetic mutation, essentially, a weakness in our immune system that traces all the way back to the Garden of Eden. When Adam and Eve chose sin, it ruptured our relationship with God, but actually ruptured the fabric of the universe, the tectonic plates on planet Earth got broken up, and our very DNA is broken. So a lot of the brokenness in this world, let's say a drunk driver, causes a car accident with someone you love and they're permanently injured or it ends their life. That's probably not from God or Satan. That's from the free will choice of that drunk driver who sinned. So sometimes the difficulty in our life is a sin consequence from other people or, you know, over the centuries from Adam and Eve. Sometimes it is discipline from God. Oftentimes it is Satan trying to discourage us. God will give you wisdom. And here's the thing. Sometimes we don't know which one it is, but here's what we do know, and I think it's the real point of what Paul tells us here, because he bookends it. He says, to keep me from becoming proud, I was given a thorn in the flesh. Who gave it? Satan. But God used it to keep me from becoming proud. So he bookends trust in God around his difficulty. And you today, whatever you're going through, you can bookend, you can trust your father. He's good. He'll bring good from it. Uh, At the end of today's Daily Hope, we'll have a link to my audiobook. It's free for you to listen to many hours of content about finding God in your suffering. If you know someone who's suffering, send this on to them. Invite them to sign up for Daily Hope and to listen to that free audiobook. I'll see you tomorrow.